And, you know, Judith Curry is one of the was was one of the big yes global warming believers. Brilliant. Is re Brilliant recently, woman. she's recently uh, changed her position, and largely seeing how Michael Mann for you know faked the data. Yes, turned her around because she now understands and is writing effectively that you can't model the climate because the mathematics are not linear. Mm -hmm. So we've got nonlinear mathematics, which again, people are not taught to understand what it means. Right. The equations don't always end up with the same solutions. That's hard to understand, but you try to solve certain sets of differential equations that are almost unsolvable. Yeah. Or they have so many solutions that it's almost meaningless. Yes. Okay. So therefore, you know, the, the probability of an outcome coming from these factors that if you could measure them precisely, and we can't measure them precisely. So small differences in measurement make a big difference in outcome. Yes. But we're measuring things with mathematics that are, for instance, pi has an infinite number of decimals. It is not a discrete number, you know? So therefore it's not measurable. And so how many decimals do you take when you want to say, how warm is it today? Right. You know, I mean, if you could measure that, how many measurement points would you have to have on the earth to say, what's the temperature of the earth right now? Right. Well, there isn't one temperature of the earth right now because half of the world is dark. It's, not, it's night. All kinds of variations. 